Hello everyone, before we get officially started with the video, I wanted to go ahead and give a another shout out to some more fan artists. Uh, this time we actually have, I've gotten two things of fan art since the previous episode. One of them is by Board Ralsey, whose YouTube account I will have linked in the description below. And this next one is by an anonymous fan who sent it to me over Twitter and wanted to stay anonymous. Uh, but holy cow, I... I'm blown away. I'm, I'm surprised that y'all are even wanting to make fan art of this series, and I'm so glad and honored that you are. Uh, I hope that I continue making stuff that is worthy of fan art, that, that encourages you all to have fun. Uh, I, and thank you all for watching. Now let's actually get started with the, the game. How about that? <laughs> all right, and three smiles go for miles, which means we are back from our expedition to Fogbound Lake. Uh, and it's time to get back to our kill training, Seth. Let's work hard at it. Now, that's what I like to see. A lot of morning pep. Let's get it to good use. What? You can't identify the footprint. Okay, so this this is where we get our introduction to the Great Dusk Noir, or whatever the replacement for it's gonna be. We have a Pokemon visitor up top whose footprint we can't identify. Meowth is an outstanding sentry, so it's rare for him to be stumped by footprints. If those two were doing duty, that first of all, that allegation is incredibly false. We've gotten both sentry duty attempts perfect. Actually, I think there was a third one that we got perfect as well at the beginning that I did off camera. Uh, but still, I, I, I've done these perfectly so far, so shut up. <laughs> Your name is Hound Ooh! Okay, Hound Doom is a good replacement for Dusknor. I D Dusknor? Whatever. Uh, but look at that. That is that is about equally intimidating as Desnor, I'd say. <laughs> look, look at that Hound Doom. Oh my goodness, big old fire puppy. Uh, I I'm surprised that people are surprised that he's bad in the end. <laughs> Who's that visitor? What? You haven't heard of Hound Doom, the famous explorer? First of all, he's a he's a solo explorer. Uh, that's right, he's got to be pretty sure about his skills to do that. But what's even more incredible? His wealth of knowledge. It seems there's like there's nothing in the world he doesn't know. That's how much he knows. So the rumor goes. But he's used his knowledge to succeed on many explorations so far. So many Pokemon revere Houndoom for his achievements. That's how I knew the claims about his mighty knowledge must be true. Does Houndoom visit here often? No, this is his first time. I heard that Spirit's Homes Guild was mounting an expedition to find Fogbound Lake. I came here hoping to hear about your latest triumph. Sorry, we didn't learn a thing. Not at all. So, yeah, I'm very I'm very proud that Spirit Home, like, keeps his word to not tell anybody about Fogbound Lake. Like, I, I'm genuinely... I, I was a little surprised the first time I played through this, but also, he's just so kind. Like, of course he would. He's not the guy to break a promise. Everyone, this is Houndoom. He's going to stay in Treasure Town for a while. Mind yourself around him. Houndoom is very famous and quite knowledgeable, so I bet everyone would like to get advice from him, but let's not overdo it. We don't want to be a nuisance. Now, everyone, our guest might be famous, but don't embarrass us by asking him for autographs. No, no, if it's autographs you want, I'm sure I can oblige. <laughs> Look at this door. I think I'll go for a stroll in the night. I don't think that's a safe place for a Houndoom to go take a stroll in. <laughs> so everyone else is swooning over Houndoom. Anywho, okay, so we're back on that grind, which... Oh, hold on. Did I not accept any of the jobs? I should have accepted the jobs, it looks like. Whoopsies! Now we're back on that grind, back at the ludicrous door. And one of the cool things is uh, we... I got a... Here it is, the Golden Seed. And since I took the last one, I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Alex, who's 27 level. Or level 27. Uh, kind of boost him back up to my level. There we go. Boom. Now we're both at similar levels. Alright, so we're on a destination floor right here. Which means one of our missions is on this floor. I don't remember which one it is, though. Oh, hello. <sighs> hate these Pokemon. We're fossils away. Woo! Okay, so I think for this mission, I'm supposed to bring... Oh my goodness, why are there so many traps? Okay, fine. I'll just use Blizzard on him. Oh no, I have to find a slumber orb for him? What? Okay, well, I guess I gotta go find a slumber orb somewhere on this floor, and if there's not, you know what? Too bad. Guess there's just not. <laughs> Do these Pokemon have grudges? I can't tell. Why are there so po many Pokemon with the grudges? I only hit one grudge trap. The rest of them shouldn't have grudges. I thought it usually only applied to the, the Pokemon that were summoned in that area. Well, so I got... Un oh my goodness, I have no PP, I swear. The only move I have left is Bubble Beam. Unfortunate news, uh, we lost Krikatune. Which is sad, because, you know, lost a team member. Uh, but uh, I also couldn't just... I couldn't find the orb that they were looking for, so we gotta move on. Unfortunately, I can't get that slumber orb to you, buddy. <sighs> and 
of course, here's the outlaw. Cool. Oh my goodness, this sucks. Um, what can I do? So I have a blast seed, which could be useful, but not really that much. Uh, I've got nothing here. Okay, I guess I just gotta throw, uh, throw a decent a bunch of, you know, rare fossils. <laughs> Oh, just one, apparently. That was all it needed. <sighs> it's a monster house. Okay. You know, I gotta have Blizzard for this. <laughs> well, good news is that monster house is fairly easy to take up. Well, the bad news is we just lost Weasel to the weather. Hey, we got a Viper on our team. Heck yeah. I like Viper. Viper's a cool Pokemon. Snake type, po snake Pokemon's in general are, you know, pretty cool, in my opinion. Ah, explosion shot. My money. It's a Why would you step on it again? You're an idiot, Viper. <laughs> why do Why do I accept you as a team member? All right, floor eight is the uh, is the floor where I need to find a particular item. Oh hey, we found a yellow gummy. Okay, let's just. I think if I could just pick that up swap it for an apple, right? And yeah, we're done. There's nothing else we need to do in that dungeon. Cool. Yay, we leveled up in a rank, which means we finally have more storage. <laughs> Huzzah! Oh my goodness. Okay, so having more storage is always a good thing. Interesting. We get some more plot with Team Skull. We were really putting our place on that last expedition. Urk. Jaha, <laughs> Spiritum wrecked us. And I'm not about to let it go. So humiliating. I need payback, one way or another. But to be brutally honest, we don't stand a chance against Spiritum. I'm so furious! It's burning me up. There's gotta be some way you can get back at him. Yeah, I'd settle for picking on the wimps. Instead of Spiritum, well, how about we take a revenge on the wimps and this team... <sighs> Words are hard. I, I shouldn't voice act these people anyway. Hey! Okay, so it's another, it's another perfect apple challenge. And if I'm right, I think we run into Hound Doom while asking about perfect apples, right? I could be wrong. I, my memory's not the best, but I th yeah, there's Hound Doom. Okay. Hello there. You're from the guild, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're Team Stargazers. We work at the guild. It's a great meeting you. So what are you doing in town, Hound Doom, sir? Shopping? Nope, nope. Simply enjoying a chat. I hailed him down. The great Hound Doom is so very famous. We started a conversation. And what a surprising talk. The great Hound Doom is so worldly and wise. I'm thoroughly impressed. I guess the rumors are true. How noom, sir, you must really be as knowledgeable as they say. May I ask Alice? What can I... Uh, uh, Alice? Who's Alice? Alex is the name. <laughs> you see, so we're explaining about perfect apples, all that jazz, yada yada, but uh, alas, no plans. That's unfortunate. Ponyta, hurry! Wait for me! Aw, Squirtle and Ponyta! Oh, that's so cute. That's a good combo for the for the little kids. You know how we've been looking for a lost item? Lost item? Do you mean the same one you were looking for before? Yeah, an item called a water float. A water float? Now that's quite the precious item. Yeah, that's why we've been looking so hard for it. And then somebody said they saw a water float in the beach today. We're rushing to the beach now. Heck yeah. And now that means Team Skull knows what's, you know, going on. They're going to be... Yeah, hate that. All right, so we're going back telling Monferno that they have no plans for perfect apples. Uh, but now we've got some more kind of generic jobs that we need to do. And I'm going to make sure not to do any item jobs again. I have learned my lesson, stupid slumber -er orb. Come on. My, labor my neighbors are being loud as fuck, and I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> I'm like, I really hope not. I can't I can't control them. I, I'm fully aware of that. All right, let's get on with these filler missions. Right off the bat of Monster House. Okay, cool beans. <laughs> Uh, good news is I've got Blizzard, so I don't really have to have to care too much. Well, goodbye, Surviper. You're already gone. That's terrifying. But oh, hey, I leveled up from that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, discharge. Oh, is this what I think it is? Okay, so this is essentially the same as Blizzard, uh, but because it's the same uh, same typing as me, I'll get stab bonus, uh, which is very nice. <laughs> Ah, another monster house. Okay, time to show off Discharge, I guess. That sounds nasty. Dang, that took out a lot of them. But now I've got to do it again. <laughs> and that took out the rest. Okay, so it looks like two Discharges is what it takes to take out a monster house. I swear I'm not meaning to make that sound sexual. It just does, okay? 
Side note, what kind of jerk wagon designs uh, a, a, a floor like this where you have to wrap all the way around to the right side to go from top to bottom? Like, come on, just put like a little connection between the top and bottom. Come on. Can't be that hard. All right, destination floor. So we got to find someone to save. Ah, I hate these traps. Hey, we found the someone we need to save at least. That's good. Hello there, and goodbye. And another destination floor on floor eight, which means someone to find. Oh, wait, all right, right here. I didn't even see the yellow dot underneath him because the, the tile's too big. I thought it was an opponent that I was gonna attack. That was easy. Staples button. Wait, man, come to think of it, the, the, the staples easy button has been like such a pervasive, uh, such a successful marketing campaign, I would say. Like, I still think about it all the time. Anytime anytime something's easy, I say, Staples, that was easy. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> it's a plot dinner. Hold on. There's something I want to share with you. Hey, hey, hey! Come on out with it. Let us eat already. Quiet, please. Ahem. Now, we have just received word of this. Another time gear was stolen. What? Is it the one at Fogbound Lake? No, it was not, thankfully. The stolen gear was not from Fogbound Lake. It was apparently from somewhere else, but that's the second time gear to be stolen. It'd be extremely bad if a third were to be taken. Now rest assured, I have full confidence in you all, but I must make one thing very clear. You must never tell anyone about what you witnessed during our expedition. That is a little spooky, though. We... Having the foresight of having already played this game. I mean, like, we already know... <laughs> Just still... Alex is a little worried about it. Can't what? Yeah, that's a good question. I wonder what they thought people would want with the spirit, uh, the time gears. Like if they weren't aware of it. When I saw the time gear, why did my heart start pounding so wildly? I must be reading too much into this. My pulse raced when I saw a time gear, and then time gear is being stolen. No, there's no connection at all. You know, when I think about it, Seth, I get this feeling our expedition to Fogbound Lake took place a long time ago. That was last episode. I I I have the episodes in order for a reason. Hmm. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have trusted them. Soon after they left, another Pokemon would come. But this one, it stole the time gear. <laughs> the battle you've all been waiting for. Numble versus Numble. <laughs> I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but you're wrong. No one led me here. No one told me about this place. I've known about the presence of a time gear here for quite a long time. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you but I am taking it with me. The third time gear. That was cool that we finally got to see the Numble facing Numble. <laughs> now, I can't remember, is there more plot or are we just back to more filler missions again? I hate the filler missions. They're not fun to make a make a YouTube video over. Oh, hold on. Ah, it's the filler footprint mission. That's even worse. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's not the footprint mission. It's more plot. There, I've got visitors, huh? Oh, wait, is this the... Yes, it is. Okay. So this is where we have to go to what's normally, like, Amp Plains or something like that and fight, like, the, the team of Luxray or Lux Luxuio or... Words are hard. You know what I mean. You know you know the one. Weren't you looking for that earlier? A water float? Yep, someone said one was lying on the beach. We went there looking for it. We didn't find it. Instead, this is what we found. Shh. This scrap of paper. There's writing on it. Let's see, what does it say? The water float from the beach is now in our possession. Just try to take it from us. We'll wait in the deepest part of the primary bazaar. But knowing how weak and puny you are, I bet you can't even reach us. Cha ha ha, can't handle it. Go cry to your big shot friends. Cha ha ha. Hey, this note, it's a, it's a ransom note. What? <laughs> but the water float is very important to us. We really want to get it back. But I can't take Ponyta to a dangerous place. I said, I don't, oh wait, no. I, I, I don't want to do that voice for Ponyta. What voice do I want to do for Ponyta? I said I would go too. It's too much for you. I don't want you getting into scary scrapes. I went to Primary Bazaar by myself, but many electric type Pokemon live there. Okay, actually, you know what? Them being electric type Pokemon and this being a Squirtle, that actually does make sense for this, you know, being being afraid of it. We'll go get the water float back for you. Really? <laughs> you will? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love my voices, cool beans. Awesome, we're gonna go ahead and help them out, and that is going to be our next part of the plot, I guess. But I'm going to do it this episode, because I'm tired of doing filler, and this, this episode's gonna be real short if I only do filler. All right, off to the primary bazaar. Boop, 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 boop. I love this music, it's a groove. This, this is, 
slightly below Steam Cave in terms of music for me, but, you know, it's still a bop. And there it goes. <laughs> floor one was pretty easy. Okay, just had to move on to the right. Uh, floor two, what you got for me? Nothing yet. <gasps> Crowfile, there you've been. Ah. <laughs> I was wondering when we would see when we. Nah, bah, 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 bah. Words are hard. I was wondering when we would see a Grovile, is what I meant to say. Uh, more importantly, we get to see the stairs. <laughs> ah, Monster House time. Come on. That's unfortunate. Hey, Weasel grew up from me using Discharge on it, so that's fun. Hey, we got a new team member. Cool beans. Yeah, I'll take it. You're part of a monster house, but you're part of our team now. Goodness, literally everyone leveled up but me. That's amazing. And we're out of there. Cool beans. Oh, no. The music continues. <laughs> and it's another monster house. Okay. Uh, stairs are all the way on the right, so we're actually going to have to fight our way out of this one. But uh, by fight, I mean use discharge like twice, right? Dang, like once. There's only like one other Pokemon actually in our way. And moving on. Is that a golden gummy or a yellow gummy? It's a yellow gummy. That's not that useful. Golden gummies are powerful. I think, wait. Am I, am I mixing up golden seeds and golden gummies? I can't remember which one's which. Golden seed is the one that levels you up five times, right? What does a golden gummy do? All right, floor six. What's going on? I'm so glad both of those missed, because if e if they'd hit me, I'd be dead right now. I don't have faith that I would be able to live through that. And because we did, we get to move on to the next floor. All right. Another future floor, but this one has a... Actually, sandstorm this time. Got a plus all as a teammate. Cool beans. Love that. Holy cow! Uh, that is one dead Buizel. And one dead Cricketune. Holy cow. I am not a fan of what is occurring here. Uh... Okay, good. That way we don't have to deal with that. That was one powerful Pokemon. Jesus. <gasps> what the fuck? How are we able to take this much damage? I have an Orenberry, right? I better. There we go. Okay, holy cow. I see those items and they scare me because there's a chance they're fake. I don't like that chance. I knew it! I knew it was going to be a monster house. When I stepped in there saw those items, I'm like, huh, that seems suspicious. Oh, and Discharge ain't even killing them. Oh, this is, this is scary. I should use the pure seed and just teleport to the stairs, but I kind of need to fight it out here because then Alex would be stuck behind. Ah... Uh. Oh, it's doing something. Not much, but it's something. I can't do any more. Shoot. That's frustrating. Okay, what can I do then? Uh, Petrify Orb. Perfect. Allows me to at least handle them one-on-one. -on -one. What?! Holy cow! Okay, so not only did that Pokemon survive, you know, the rare fossil, uh, after being discharged twice, it then dealt 98 damage to me. Hot damn! Okay, I might have to... Whew. Okay, we'll see. Alright, take two at this dungeon. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Ah, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Ah, you know what? I feel like Discharge Discharge can take care of this. Oh, no. Well, Discharge isn't going to take care of it if Cubone is alive. All right, well, if that's the case... Do I still have my Pure Seed? No, I don't have my Pure Seed. Cool. Okay, we're going to have to somehow fight them all off. So I don't have my Pure Seed. I don't have any rare fossils anymore. Uh, I basically have nothing. I feel like we should probably just consider this one a loss already, shouldn't we? Okay, so that Cubone is taken down. That Cubone is willing to help us. Okay, I will I will happily take your help, Cubone. Uh, can you go ahead and replace Cricketune since Cricketune's lowest HP? Okay, so the Why Not's dead. 
this next Cubone, if we can take out this other Cubone that's still an enemy, fuck the coughing, uh, or the wheezing went in the plate. Okay, wheezing's dead. Cubone, come closer so I can use discharge, please, for the love of God. Oh my God. Well, that Cubone's dead now. Whatever. Alex has five health. I have eight health, and Alex keeps taking whatever hits come toward me. So, yup, that that's death. Shoot! I thought I made good progress on that monster house too, you know. But you know, whatever. So remember that worry I had about having lots of inventory space or not having enough inventory space? Yeah, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh. I forgot about this. And once again, we're too close to the actual spawn point of the monster house to actually do anything. But I don't think... Okay, yeah, so the discharge actually works for this one. That's good. I was a little worried that it would uh, there'd be another storm drain or something like that. All right, easy peasy. No more monster houses, all right. Floor six, what we got going on here? Apparently nothing. We just got stairs, cool beans. And okay, so, um, let's go ahead and see how strong they are. I think if I do a second discharge, it should be able to take most of them out. Oh no, I don't want to do a discharge because Shedenja has a grudge. That is very not good. Okay, so here's why uh, we got those spurn orbs. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and use them, randomly warp them around the dungeon, and we will deal them when we get to them. At least this way we could just take them all on one at a time. I'm cringing, come on. Hello? No! No! Oh, come on, really? We have no items. We didn't even get to keep those orbs. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. This is a monster house because it's the big old room. Cool beans. Uh, oh, they're all nearby me too. Oh shit, plus all those helping hand. That's awesome. Oh, that's actually hype as hell. Let's just get to the stairs. I don't want to have to deal with these Pokemon. Okay, and boom, out of there. Love that. Is that really the first time I've picked up an Orenberry? Dang, okay. Oh, Pitfall Trap, in the room that has stairs. You know what, I don't care. Ignore how I'm now at low health. I didn't want to. Uh, that was an embarrassing fight. I thought I'd be able to get that handled way earlier than I did. I hate the Intimidator IQ. I need to step back. Alex, you need to handle that. Okay, holy shit. Um, what? I am terrified right now. We need to... <gasps> okay, if I throw a Sleep Seed, is it going to hit Alex or is it going to hit the the Del Caddy? It hit Alex. Of course it did. I thought it would go over Alex's head like all the other, you know, normal throwing projectiles. Damn it! <laughs> oh, man! I don't know why I'm so determined to beat this dungeon this time. You know, like, I can... I can wait and do it another episode, but I feel like I, it's like the time, time sunk fallacy or something like that, you know? I've, I've been playing this, this specific dungeon for so long that it feels like I have to win soon. Uh, even that, if that doesn't make logical sense. Moving on, cool beans. And here's the big old monster house dungeon room. Where are the stairs? Oh, the stairs are kind of below us. Ah, oh, shoot, we gotta fight our way out of this one. Well, I'm glad this charge exists. Come on, let's get out of there. Cool beans. That was easy. Floor six. Okay. No. So this is the floor that I have died on basically every single time. Uh, it is not going to happen this time. I refuse to allow it to happen. And thank God we have made it out of floor seven. Okay. Holy cow. I don't know how we continuously got stopped on that floor. That one, man, we, we, we struggled with that one for a while. Hey, new Pokemon, cool beans. Why would you, you fucker. Why would you wake up 
Ah. Uh, screw you guys, I'm going off my own. I'm gonna find these stairs and get the fuck out of here. Because I don't trust my teammates to find the stairs with me. But I also don't trust them not to die, and I am realizing now that it was a mistake to leave them all on their own. Okay. Um. Hopefully Alex is smart enough to not die, at least? Alex found the stairs. Fuck yeah. Okay. I can't get to the stairs from where I am right now, but the fact that he found the stairs is hype as hell. Alex is avoiding the fight, which is smart because we have the stairs right here. Hi, Alex. And we're out of there. Okay, cool beans. Floor nine. Hey, stairs right here. Cool beans. Nice. <sighs> okay. What do we got going on? Faux hold orb. That's actually a good orb. Rare fossils. Nice. Pick those up. Always. Hey! We're halfway there. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna stop it right here. I know there's like a boss fight if I go further ahead. And I don't... Give, given how the first part of this dungeon went, I don't want to have to put you through that part of the dungeon right now. I also just don't want to have to go through that dungeon right now. I've, I've been recording for about two hours. So thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic rest of the day. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you next time.